Howdy folks, from Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua at the top of Wisconsin, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around us at a big top I see there high above the ground, Valley Hoo. Oh, Valley Hoo. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And now, here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and intermittent pig farmer, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Big Top Chautauqua. Tonight, we welcome Rounder Records artist, The War and Treaty. We'll also hear from singer and violinist, Ida Joe. And during intermission, I'll discuss a quieter song by an artist who is not with us in the tent here tonight. Folks, the music you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. It's the Big Top Chautauqua, an actual giant canvas tent pitched atop a hill so high and so far north, if you step outside and whistle and the wind is right, you'll hear you right downtown in beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin. Some of the boats are fancy, but there's always plenty of room for us rowboat types. Land lovers, too. Life is slow up here, so you want to get here as fast as you can. I invite you to imagine you're here atop this tree-topped hill right now, in a canvas tent pitched in the theater of your mind, with the Apostle Islands dotting Lake Superior in the background. If you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour and want to see and experience it for real, check the schedule and get your tickets at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because it is beautiful up here. You ought to come on up. Our first musical guest this evening arrives violin in hand and songs in heart. Her voice is full and calming and her songs arrive in a soothing flow. No surprise then that in addition to music touring, she travels the world studying and teaching yoga. Originally hailing from Duluth, and she'd probably say Duluth, please welcome Ida Jo. everybody. So my name is Ida Jo, and uh, I'm so glad to be here at the Big Top, open it up the show this evening. So we've got a, a couple songs for you, and I uh, hope you enjoy.
until I started believing in what comes when you let something die. What is good you can't hold on to. What is Thank you. Well, uh, I, I'm actually originally from Duluth, Minnesota. Yeah. So this is really fun for me because I grew up coming to the Big Top. And uh, yeah, so I've been to so many shows here. So it's, it's, it's a very fun experience for me to be on, on this side. And uh, you're just as lovely as ever. Every time I've been here, it's uh, such a beautiful audience. And, and thank you. Tonight is no different, so thank you. <laughs> this is so great because usually when I sing all the folks up in heaven, I'm like, oh my God, everyone is thinking I have the w most ridiculous accent. And tonight I said that and I was like, oh, they all probably sound like that too, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> they, they really get me. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a song that Scott and I wrote together now. And um, so we spend a lot of time, you know, in the car together, like driving from gig to gig. And I I've heard this from other musicians and, and ar other artists that travel a lot, that you, you have to come up with things to do in the car to pass the time because you start to go a little bit crazy with, you know, highway after highway. And uh, so one of the games that we play anyway is we come up with band names so like sometimes they're really ridiculous and terrible and sometimes you get kind of lucky and you come up with one that's like really good and and then you're like oh no like now we have to be that band because that name is so good it needs a band to be that that name you know and uh so we came up with one of these names that we were like ah it's just so good um, but we, we decided that like we're already kind of a band or whatever that means anyway so uh, we, we didn't want to jump ship and take it on as a band name um, but we took it on as an album name okay so I'm gonna tell you now what the name is and I'm just warning you it's a really good one and uh, we're, I have to be proud of it because they come so so rarely that when they do you have to be like this is a good one uh, so, so the album is called Hum, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm, yep, and uh, and so this is Hum's 
single, if we were to be a band named Hum, this is the song that we would perform for you. And since we're not that band, but our album is called that, um, this is a song from that album. And if you followed any of that, you are my new friend. All right. <laughs> this is called Going to the Mountain. Going to the mountain. Going to the sea. Going to the valley. Going you and me. Getting lost together. Gonna find what we can find. Going to the mountain. Got going on. Leaving in the morning, packing up tonight, setting out for somewhere that doesn't hold so tight. Going where the wind blows, gonna let it all unwind. Leaving in the Well, we have time for one more song, so I'd like to thank you so much. I'm Ida Jo, and uh, I'm around this part of the country quite a lot, so hopefully I'll see you guys again. So thank you guys so much. And uh, uh, by the way, this is Scott Lambs who's been playing with me. Yeah. Well, we're going to close with a song that actually Scott wrote. And this is an, a nice one because it's an optional sing-along. So if you're like, now is my turn to sing, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. It's like, <laughs> usually it's a, a sing-along and people are like, but you guys are like, yeah. <laughs> nice, I love it. Uh, so the words are very simple. Uh, the, it's called, Mama Always Said. Yep, so... Anytime you want to sing that or something else, it really doesn't matter. You can sing that or something else. Uh, but if you were to like follow what the song sounded like, it would sound like this. Mama always said, Mama always said. Nice, you're a quick study. Mama always said, Mama always said. Mama always said, Mama always said. That's nice. Well, 
mama always say, mama always say. Here we go. Mama always say, mama always say. Mama always say, mama always say. My mama always say, mama always say. Well, I remember mama yelling and storming out the back door. She took my hand. She said, listen to me, baby, as we hurry to the station. Well, that's what you get when you love a man. Cause she had cuts on her face and bruises on her shoulder. I swore the night There are two kinds of men in this world She told me The men who cheat and tell the truth And the men who cheat and lie Cause mama always said Mama always said Now don't love a man who treats you bad Mama always said Mama always said Don't love a man who treats you bad Cause he'll come home beaming In the brand new Lincoln Take a swing when he been drinking my baby stop crying and you start thinking what mama always say Mama always said, Mama always said. Mama always said, Mama always said. Mama always said, Mama always said. My mama always said, Mama always said. Well, I've known my share of men who say they help treat me with love and care. If his breath smells sweet and he's tripping on his feet, a girl does her best to be aware. One day, my child, you know you'll understand me. I know you'll see. If you give a little grin and you want to let him in, remember what I'm telling you and what my mama said to me. Here we go. Cause mama always said, mama always said, now don't love me. Mama always said, Mama always said, don't love a man who treats you bad. Cause I'll come home beaming in a brand new Lincoln. Take a swing when he'd been drinking. My baby start crying and you start thinking what Mama always said. What mama always say, what mama always say, what mama always say, what my mama, she always say. Thank you guys so much. Ida Joe, everyone. So good to have her music here. Well, folks, now that you're nice and settled in, good luck staying that way. Our next guests are about to raise the canvas in this joint with a powerhouse blend of southern soul, gospel, country rock, and then blues. Before Tanya Blunt Trotter and Michael Trotter Jr. met, she was a trained vocalist and actor. He had gone from a childhood spent partially in homeless shelters to the military where he caught the attention of his fellow soldiers when he began playing a piano and singing during a tour of duty in Iraq. After the two met on stage at a music festival, they started writing together, got married, and became a musical act you have to hear to believe. 
and believe you will. Please pin your ears back and welcome the War in Chief.
Listening to Tenth Show Radio. Welcome to intermission, folks. We so need the energy and the power of the war and treaty, and it'll be my privilege to welcome them back on stage shortly for more of the same. But I'm going to downshift just a touch for a minute and. Say, lately I've been leaning pretty heavily on a song called The Healing Day by an artist named Bill Fay. It's a gentle number, somewhere between lullaby and hymn. Fay was 69 years old when the song was released, and it's a good thing because it's a piece whose proper delivery requires some prior living. I've known some fine studio hands, and auto-tune's a wonder, but you can't chef up empathy. Fay sings as if he's smoothing a child's brow. It'll be okay, he sings, barely above his breath, his voice acknowledging the darkness all around even as he breathes his belief in the light. I hear it and think of the times I've sat on the edge of my own child's mattress, doing my best to soothe the small creature when thin threads of dread hung above the bed. How many times do we hold our children close under the guise of comforting them when, in fact, we're clinging to them as if they were the last buoy in a cold sea? The healing day lands on my ears as an unanswerable conundrum. The flat-footed, clear-eyed, wind-burned part of me knows no song so fragile, sung by a voice so frail, can withstand, or let alone overcome, these hard-hearted days, or the vicious fools among us. You'd do just as well to block a bulldozer by propping a blown glass ornament against the blade. And yet I accept the comfort of the song, because the comfort is real. It is ephemeral, but then in the big picture, so are bulldozers. Every battleground, sings Fay, is a place for sheep to graze. Nine words acknowledging the damage we humans do ourselves 
conveying the implication that some of us will not survive or escape unscathed, but allowing that one day the blood and dirt will grow up in pasture. It's the perfect image. No animal grazes unless it feels safe. Forty years my dad raised sheep, and in my mind I can see them out there, flocked and cropping grass in the mist. Last night in bed I read a pair of Wendell Berry profiles. Berry's 85 and still working his dozen acres. Less than before, but then he's got plenty of labor banked. I found myself growing impatient with some of his insistences, not because I think he's wrong, but because I don't see how enough of us can be Wendell Berry, because I don't see how a couple tending 12 Kentucky acres is a credible bulwark against, and let's go ahead and run the tracks off this metaphor, the bulldozer of consumer demand and simple venal greed. The disciples are outnumbered. But there was something in Barry's words that plucked a harmonic in my subconscious. It took me a bit, but after I snapped the bedside light off, it came to me. I was sensing the interplay between Barry's words and Bill Fay's music. Both men understand the battle is pitched against gentler folk, but peaceful persistence is its own reward. It isn't a matter of winning, it's a matter of dignity. Be at peace with yourself, sings Bill Fay in another song, and at the edge of sleep I recite those words against the universe, hoping my children will hear them. Sometimes we need the quiet power. Sometimes we just need the power. Nothing better than to welcome back now to the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua stage, the War and Treaty. Are we having a revival or what? Oh my goodness. Are we having a revival or what? Well, clap those hands, y'all. Clap your hands. Clap those hands, y'all. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. <laughs> Let me hear you say, hey. I put my foot right in my mouth Ooh, hey, yo. Yeah. Try to be quiet but I hear to shout Oh, 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 hey, yo. oh. <laughs> I hear you at my dawn trying to listen
none of your business. Ain't none of your business. What we do? What we do? Ain't none of your business. Ain't none of your business. What we do? What we do? is Michael. Ah. And, and my name is Tanya. And I'm we Michael's are, wife. Wait a minute now. Don't mess up the script. Okay, keep the script. We 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 the war on treaty. <laughs> that be us. And Tanya messed up the script. I did. But isn't that how life works? This is our firstborn, Max Brown. Hey man. I know what you're thinking. He gets all of his looks from his father. They're not that foolish. <laughs> we, uh, before we continue, we just would like to say that we are so happy to see each and every one of you. Now, we're going to do our best to make sure that uh, you remember us, but if you don't, it, it, who cares? <laughs> uh, we got paid anyway, but... Uh, no, Michael, no. you promised you were going to behave today. But I, I just want to um, let you guys know our intention. Our intentions is, is that as you look at this band up here, you will see a reflection of what you all feel in your hearts. And that's that we're one race, a united race, and that's the human race. charge you we give you full permission to have the best time of your life tonight this song we dedicate to you all is called breathe max brown
Thank you so much. Just a little bit, really quickly. Uh, my husband is a two-time American uh, warrior. He served in the Iraq War twice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your service, honey. And when I met him, I quickly learned that he was a prolific songwriter. He writes seven to eight songs a day. So we're going to do a song for you that we just learned yesterday. He just wrote it yesterday, so we have the words right here. I'm sure some of you go to Barbara Streisand concerts, so you know something about teleprompters. But we, we, have, <laughs> we have this. I have, I'm Barbara Streisand's protege. I have one. Shoot. 
war and treaty. Thank you for the power. Support for Ten Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And we're brought to you by the Ashland Chamber of Commerce. Ashland, Wisconsin, where you find yourself next to the water. Year-round recreation in the heart of Shawamigan Bay. More information at visitashland.com. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce. Beautiful Bayfield and the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Information and lodging at bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior in downtown Bayfield. Stay, dine, and relax with the Bayfield Inn year-round. With 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on-site restaurant, and rooftop bar. There's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. Any traveler, any season, any meal. Information at thebayfieldinn.com or facebook.com slash bayfieldinn. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who's grateful for all the powers available. We'd love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio. Nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.